I believe in Jesus. This is what they, they told us. They, I believe in Jesus. How did Jesus behave? They talked about Jesus. And they planned the murder of Jesus. And to my knowledge, out of all that hate, they put on Jesus Christ. He only lost his cool, I believe, one time, I believe, when they were gambling in the holy place, I believe. They was gambling and selling drugs or whatever in the holy place. And Jesus was like, hey, what the hell y'all think y'all doing up in here? Jesus went up in there and got the whooping ass, I believe. I think that's how the story goes. <laughs> it was a bunch of crap. That's the only time Jesus that I remember Lost his cool. But Jesus, and the theme of Christianity is peace and love. So you have people planning the death of Jesus, and Jesus still loved them. There were those who make a mock of Jesus, that shown their hate toward Jesus. And he only respond in peace and love. This is the theme of Christianity. And so those who hate Jesus and Jesus didn't do a damn thing to them. They began to crucify Jesus. And they put Jesus on the cross. His response was. To the father who's supposed to have the, pro the, the power to give out serious punishment. Jesus talked to his father and he said to the father, forgive them for they know not what they do. And Jesus did not respond with hate to them when they hate him. He did not respond in lies to them when they lied on Jesus. His message was that of peace and love and kindness and that we should be righteous and he was an example of being a righteous person so that we can go to heaven and sit in peace forever with the Father. Now, when we look at this person or many others, do they carry themselves in the manner of Jesus? I told you about the pastor. The pastor, even though that was his daughter, still found love and fairness in his heart for me because he was a man of God. He was a man of Christ. What does this person and many other Christians, how do they think? I hope you die and I will walk on your grave and I will spit on your grave. You never heard words. You never heard Jesus associated with nobody that talked like that or would do such a thing. Even when Jesus was raised from the dead, he did not come out. Telling those I wish the ones that murdered me 
I hope the father come and kill you. Break your neck, blow you up. He still didn't do it. So I'm asking you, is this person a proper representative of Jesus Christ? Now, I have met the pastor of, the, of this person's church that they claim they go to. She's a very nice lady, and from all the information I got to, she exhibit Christ-like behavior. Very charitable, very humble person. But here we have a person that is not humble, that is not charitable, profane and violent. You're not in a position and nobody should seriously take them as a representative of Christ. She does not represent that church. Matter of fact, on her channel, barely talk about church at all. Going back and forth, beefing with people. Hate, malice, slam the gossip lies. So again, how do you benefit? There is no benefit. This person here had a channel that was growing. And they destroyed themselves because they did not take the advice of the Bible. They did not take in consideration the example of Jesus. They have demons. They have mental issues within themselves they don't want to deal with. So instead of a seed in the ground waiting to be born, and sprouting roots to travel up, this person now is laying in the soil, in death, in the dirt, turn rotten. This is what has happened. This is what has happened. So she and many others are in a position to represent Jesus. Because there's no example in the Bible that Jesus exhibit any of this kind of behavior. That's not what Christianity is about. On the surface, we can dig into some things and we can find flaw and error, but we understand that's not what it's really supposed to be about. Christ is about love and healing and peace. This person does not represent Jesus or the Christ. This person does not represent their church. So we go from here We go from Christianity to Islam. I'm a follower of the Honorable Elijah Muhammad. Now, mind you, I have been a Christian. Mind you, I also have been a follower of the Honorable Elijah Muhammad. This person come on social media and will tell you because she's upset. I will kill you. For what? You've never heard me. You never heard the suggestion of me wanting to bring harm to nobody. I never talked about Oh, I hope that so-and-so died. I hope that you get hit by a truck. I never did none of those different things. We defended ourselves, said what we have to say, and we're gone. Never wish 
malice, bad luck on nobody. But this person, I'm glad you got cancer. And when you die, I'm going to find your grave, spit on your grave, and we're going to dance on your grave. Some very hateful, nasty things. I'm a follower of the Honorable Elijah Muhammad. Sister Ann said, one of them even said, they are praying you die soon. Well, this follower of Elijah Muhammad been praying for me to die since 2014, 2013. I'm a follower of the Honorable Elijah Muhammad. So she is representing the teachings of the Honorable Elijah Muhammad. I have read many books and listened to many tapes by the Honorable Elijah Muhammad. I was introduced to the teachings of the Honorable Elijah Muhammad when I was about seven or eight years old. I have all the books, a lot of the lessons from Elijah Muhammad. I never heard him talk like that. And I'm very sure, even in his, in his lifetime, there were those who talked bad about Elijah Muhammad, and some of the followers, some of the followers got upset, and they went out and committed murder. But Elijah Muhammad never said nothing bad about those people. Elijah Muhammad said, "Flee and take refuge in Allah." Follow me so I can take us to heaven at once. Now, I know that Malcolm X called our people, some of our people, Uncle Toms and house niggas and sambos and stuff like that. Malcolm X did. But correct me if I'm wrong. But to my knowledge, Elijah Muhammad himself, I never read where he called our people Coons and Sambos and Uncle Tom House niggas and stuff like that. I never heard him wish death. Now, the only thing he did, like most religious people would do, they would tell us of our punishment if we disobey God. He did do that. There's a hell, there's a punishment for us, consequences of our actions. He did do that. I never heard Elijah Muhammad teach and say, I hope Dr. King die. That at Coon. I hope Dr. King die and I'll go there, send one of my followers to spit on his grave. I never heard that type of talk from Elijah Muhammad. Again, we can go back and we can find little things flaws and errors in people and, and the teachings. But on the surface, but on the surface, that's not Nation of Islam teachings. Nation of Islam teaching is about love and unity for the black man and woman in America.